come to Spain with me and Dylan. Firstly, we're off to get haircuts and everything. My hair was frazzled. I needed it to slay for the holiday. And I need a McDonald's. We just got a haircut. We're now we're in McDonald's. Slaying the day. I got a hamburger and fries from McDonald's. And then we set off to go to the airport hotel where we stayed for the night before we flew because we had an early morning flight. And this was a hotel we were staying at. I think it was it's somewhere in Leeds. <laughs> We've just got to the premier in room. Well, it's not even a premier in. I don't even know what the hotel's called. Britannia Hotel. Britannia Hotel. And we're staying here for the night before we go to Spain tomorrow. And, oh, oh, it's got a bath. Oh, it's got a bath. And, it's got a little, oh, what's this? Little soap. Britannia bath. Hotel soap. Oh. Slay the day away, free soap. Oh, we love the freebies. We love the freebies. We've already had to have a room change because the door won't lock. So this is the new room. <laughs> slay! Oh my gosh, I just said slay. I'm not meant to be saying slay besties. This was the view out of the window, a very nice view. And then we went downstairs and we had a few drinks and we had something to eat and Dylan was moaning about his food. He always moans about his food. <laughs> then I used my bath bomb from Lush. Besties, I think there's a ghost in the room. I can hear a noise or a mouse, a mouse. There's like a tapping noise or a chewing noise. Can you hear it? I don't know what it is, but I've just filmed a video about it. I'm really nervous. So we go to the airport and it's half two and I'm half asleep. To be honest. What hour is this? Yeah, I haven't really slept and I just feel like a zombie. You will never see me awake at this time in the morning usually and it was not slaying. It was cold, it was not slay. I just wanted to be on holiday. I'm currently in the airport think. shop and I tried on loads of different sprays and it's made my hands really sticky. We looked at all the bargains in the shop and then we headed towards the airport. Not airport, aeroplane. We've got the aeroplane now and oh, it's still I dark. I think it's so relaxing on the aeroplane when it's dark. Got on the plane and we found our seats and it was really warm on there. And Dylan ordered some food which did not look and smell nice. Just and then we it. watched the sun set out the window. I love the window seat on the plane. And we landed. We was going to Lorette de Mar, by the way. I, I forgot to say in the vlog. We've been there before and I have done a vlog oh, there before. The thing. Well. I'm half asleep. I don't know what I'm on about. It's like room. And this is the room. Oh, yeah. It looks really nice. Yeah. Oh, and look at the view. So we got the room sorted, we headed straight to the bar, all inclusive, you'll find me there. And we went on a little walk on the night time as well, and that was really nice. Listen to the ASMR of the waves, very This was the view from a hotel room. This is today's been our first day, and it's been very nice. I'm half asleep, literally. I've hardly had any sleep since, like, yesterday. I feel like a zombie, but slow the day The next day we got up and went for breakfast where Dylan was very rude about my food. This is me and Dylan have just been for breakfast and I was being horrible to me because I got beans and a choro for my breakfast. <laughs> but he's laughing. I got uh, some beans and then I got a choro thing. I've never tried one of them before. It's quite nice actually. And then I got a few chips on the side. It was all right, but Dylan seems to think it's a weird combination. But you had literally the biggest pile of beans in the one Leave me alone. Right. Leave me alone. We then went on a little walk and look at this pool. We didn't even know it was there. It was indoor. And there was a hot tub as well. Me and my mum found it. We then went to the beach, which isn't a beach. It's like loads of rocks on the sand. Or not on the sand. It's not even sand. It's just rocks. But it's fine. Slay. Dylan just slaying the day away as always. I'm not meant to be saying slay on this vlog, but this bucket here was so annoying. I've been full. I've burned on my nose. I'm sore. Dylan's gone red and I got soap in my eye and I got gel in the other eye an hour later. Not After an eventful start to the night, we decided to go down to the entertainment. We went for tea and then we went to bed. And the next day we found a snake. We don't know if it was a snake or one of them lizards, but that's a lizard. And the other thing was definitely a snake. And then we went on a trip to find a McDonald's and we managed to find a McDonald's. And this is where it was last time we came here. We went to this McDonald's and it was so nice. Ooh. I love it. We got, I think I got some, I got a burger and some chips. Very, very slight. I got a Big Mac. And this is me on the pirate ship slaying because there's a big bucket that falls and I got too scared to stay underneath it because I was going to stay underneath it and let it fall on me but I didn't but this is what I was going to do slay slay the day away we went on a little walk me and Dylan and we ended up climbing up a mountain but I didn't film that much of it but look how nice this was that was the mountain it reminded me of Mamma Mia but um this is me and Dylan decided to walk up this mountain and literally <laughs> our legs oh look how high up we are on the way back to the hotel there was a cat and it was growling at us the cat started growling at us, so I like walked all the way around to cross the road to cross it without passing it. Like a chicken. 
it did look like a bit of a chicken, but it wasn't a chicken, it was a cat. We then went for dinner and then I embarrassed myself. This is, I've just been stood outside of someone else's room door, which I thought was my room, and I was shouting, Dylan, Dylan! What even my room? Dylan came walking down the corridor and was like, what are you doing? And he went to go scan the key on that door as well, because he thought it was our room as well, because I was obviously stood outside of it, and he was like, so we just ran down the corridor. I was like, what the hell? We've just gone to someone the else's room. The pool looked so nice in her night time. I loved it. The next day we got up and then we went to go watch the football. And I don't usually watch football, but we watched it. And then we went shopping and we bought these little necklaces with a C and D. There were so many shops around us. Morning, besties. I have been ill for the past, like, three days. I haven't really shown it in my vlog. But um, yesterday I woke up being sick. It was not slaying the day away. And I think it was one of the foods that I felt or something like that. I'm not sure. But um, I'm feeling a lot better today. So that's We good. had a few drinks in the hotel because I wanted to make the most of it. Seems that I haven't really been drinking because I've been ill. So we went out on the night. Dylan stayed in the room because he didn't really like going out. And I slayed. We got cocktails and it was so nice. And we walked down the strip. We didn't really go in that many places. We just went in the ones that we thought, oh, that looks nice. Let's slay. And they got a cocktail in here. My brother got this t-shirt with his cocktail. He won it. And he literally wore it the whole night. I was like, what, what's going on? What's going on? And there is us slaying the day. I'm right? saying and so much because, to be honest, I've actually forgot this night. It was it was an eventful night. That's all I'm gonna, what is my brother doing? What is he doing? He, what, what is he doing? When I say eventful night, it's because I got two litres of pina colada in this, like, huge glass. It, it was amazing. I got two of them. They did karaoke again. <laughs> That is the pina colada. I think it's a one litre actually. And we was dancing and everyone loved my brother's t-shirt for me. Bro. Very eventful because some woman stole my brother and we couldn't find him for the whole night. He ran away with her. It's so cold today. I'm wearing a coat. I ended up coming straight back to the room after going out because I ended up being sick. Everyone blamed the cocktails, but I think it was the bug that I had. That night, Dylan had a few drinks. Next day, we got up and we saw a duck in the pool. Oh, that's not a duck. Is that a pigeon? Oh, it's one of them. Slay. Today is our last day and I'm feeling better today because I was ill yesterday. And then I was better the day before and I was ill the day before. It's just been like one day I've been good, the next day I've been ill again. Mm. So hopefully I'm not ill tomorrow. So I'm I went on this slide, but I didn't video it, but I wanted to include it in the vlog. So this is the slide I went and on. If I remember right, I think Dylan came when it was we're me just as well. going to the shops before we go in tomorrow and we just got changed. Ready to slay the day away. Slay! Slay the end of the holiday away. And my hair's frazzled. I think Dylan's hair's frazzled for once as well. So he's wearing one of my hats. Slay. I shouldn't be saying slay because I promised you all I wouldn't say slay as much on this vlog and I failed We bit. went to the shops and my mum bought me this bracelet. It's like a shell bracelet. I loved it. It slayed and Dylan wanted to show you all his tan line and the shops. There were so many different shops and so many bargains. I love a good bargain. I got one of those picture frames, by the way. We walked down the seafront. It was so nice. It was actually really warm now. It got warm. It was cold earlier and it was warm. And then there was a palm tree. Just wanted to take a video of the palm tree before I'm back in England and there's no palm tree. I made Dylan walk all the way up to the top floor of the hotel because I haven't been up there we yet. We went for tea for the last time before we fly home tomorrow. Look how pretty that view is. We're just about to leave the hotel now. Best is to go home. It's currently about five in the morning, I think. I'm not sure. I feel like I forgot something and I know I haven't, but I feel like I forgot something. I'm half we headed sleep. towards the drop off point where we got picked up to go on the coach to go home, like to go to the airport. And we was on the coach and there was this noise for the whole time we were on the coach. It was so annoying. We couldn't even go to sleep. It literally just kept going and going. It wouldn't stop. We went to the airport and then we also got a Burger King. I don't usually like Burger King, but I always have it at the airport. And then we went and boarded our plane, got sat down. I was so excited to go home and get myself back to Primark. I always say that, but I don't even go to Primark when I get straight home. I did once actually, so I did miss it. But we landed. I can see Jess Glynn in the window. And look at how the handle, your suitcases, they literally just throw them. Well, there was one that we threw and it literally landed on the floor. And hunted for the cars and found them quite quick this time.
And thank you for watching to the end of the vlog. And I will be posting another one of these with me and Dylan going to Tenerife.